Can you imagine that billions of unidentifiable interstellar structures are traveling in our solar system, and we don't know about them? Interstellar structures can be chunks of rock, as well as probes or other bodies that come to us from worlds outside our solar system. We may have seen such a structure for the first time with Oumuamua, and the suspicions researchers now have regarding this object will send a shiver down your spine. A few years ago, a strange object flew through our solar system, which researchers named Oumuamua. Nearly a kilometer long, the unidentifiable structure sped through the solar system at incredible speeds, shredding past Earth, spinning around the sun, and then flying away again. Oumuamua was so strange that to this day, no one has an explanation of what this thing was or where it came from. Oumuamua was officially the first object to come to us from outside the solar system, but some researchers claim that this is a mistake. It would be much better to say, Oumuamua was the first of its kind that we noticed. Oumuamua also caught the eye of astronomers only by accident, and researchers have had a terrible suspicion ever since. Studies of the true nature of Oumuamua have shown a frightening resemblance to some rocks and structures that reside very close to Earth. Does this now mean that these boulders are also interstellar in nature? And what do these structures indicate? The strange visitors created a violent controversy among scientists. Artificial Creations of Extraterrestrial Origin Around the controversy about Oumuamua, some rocky chunks have been studied for the first time, traveling in conspicuous formations in the solar system. These chunks are much smaller than Oumuamua, and often only slightly larger than a soccer ball. But they are numerous, and they were the only structures far and wide that bear some resemblance to Oumuamua. The color, the strange mixture of rocks and metals, and the density showed scientists that there may be some sort of relationship between the chunks and the strange visitor from another world. Does this now mean that this rock also came from alien worlds and we never noticed? Computer programs have calculated that there may be about four quintillion alien structures in our solar system. Four quintillions is a four with 18 zeros. Any of these structures could be a visitor from another star, and some of them could have been artificially created. Avi Loeb, an astronomer who studied Oumuamua in depth, warned the scientific community to be prepared to acknowledge that Oumuamua may have been a very stealthy alien probe or even a spacecraft. Visitors from Oort's Cloud After Oumuamua's transit, researchers began to search our solar system even more meticulously, looking for bits of rock that were somehow odd. In the process, they noticed a massive structure that appears to be slowly moving inward from the outermost edges of the solar system and this chunk is an incredible 120 kilometers wide. The anomaly was noticed in data from the Dark Energy Survey Program. The unexpected discovery caused renewed excitement among astronomers. An object of unusually large size, of abnormal origin, and much larger than Oumuamua, came as a shock. 120 kilometers is gigantic. The asteroid that killed the dinosaurs had a diameter of only about 15 kilometers. The object is approaching our solar system from the Oort cloud, a huge region already outside the clearly measurable heliosphere, but still part of our solar system. The Oort cloud accommodates billions of rocks, dust, asteroids, and comets. Until now, the objects were thought to have come from the earliest days of our solar system. Remnants of dust, rock, and debris that remained when the sun, planets, and moons were born. But because Oort's cloud is so far out, it's also conceivable that it has accumulated interstellar objects. No probe has ever been there. The Voyager probes, launched in 1977, will reach the cloud in many decades, having long since left the actual boundary of the solar system. Oort's cloud is a haven of mystery. 10,000 to 20,000 times farther from the sun than Earth, this cosmic cloud is so dark and so cold that it has never been seen, not even by our most powerful telescopes. Scientists are nevertheless certain that the 120-kilometer-wide object is coming to us from the cloud. Does that make it an interstellar visitor or a solar system object after all? C-2014 UN-271 Bernardinelli Bernstein On its current trajectory, 
The object takes nearly 5.5 million years to complete just one loop of its orbit, but it is slowly being pulled inward and the 120-kilometer chunk will be changing its trajectory as it does now. The wandering visitor was previously designated C-2014 UN-271. Currently, it's on a slow path toward the Sun. The Hubble Space Telescope measured the object's properties and came to the conclusion that it's almost certainly a comet. The object is likely rich in ice and is currently about 3 billion kilometers from the Sun. C-2014 UN-271, or somewhat more simply, Bernardinelli Bernstein, is very likely the largest comet in the history of astronomy to date. It will reach its closest position to Earth in 2031. So, although Bernardinelli Bernstein is very far away now, it's approaching comparatively fast. The good news is that, in 2031, the comet will come up to the level of Saturn's orbit, at which point the force of the gas giant will steer it into a new orbit. The comet will then make many more ponderous laps around the Sun and will probably try to fly into the interior of the solar system again. Comets that make their orbits this way are called long-duration comets. Some shifts in gravity pull the chunks out of the Oort's cloud into the interior. It may even be tensions between stars themselves that provide the impetus for the migrations. This would mean that an interaction between Alpha Centauri and our Sun would dislodge comets from the Oort cloud and push them into the interior of the solar system. Such processes are not uncommon. It happens all the time in the interior, when gravitational games between Jupiter and the Sun and the outer reaches of the system and the Sun push asteroids and comets from the main asteroid belt or the Kuiper belt into the interior. Fortunately, we are largely protected by the gravity of the gas giants. Whereas, researchers have shown that also Jupiter sometimes can send chunks like projectiles toward the Sun. Long-term documentation of a giant comet Meg Schwamm, an expert on the Kuiper belt and the Oort cloud at Queen's University in Belfast, will accompany Bernardinelli Bernstein on its long journey and document it. Among other things, the comet will be observed with one of the world's best observatories in Chile. Every three nights, the comet's position will be re-imaged and over time, a movie will be created documenting Bernardinelli Bernstein's behavior over a decade. The comet is already puzzling because the object previously showed the typical cloud of icy sublimation scattered from the comet's surface. For a short time, therefore, there was a suspicion that this object, too, might resemble Oumuamua, which could not be classified as either a comet or an asteroid. Typical features were lacking for both possibilities. Some researchers have suggested that Bernardinelli Bernstein might be a perfect target for a probe. For the first time, we could study an Oort cloud object in more detail. The probe would land, grab a sample, and then return to Earth. Probe to Oumuamua Oumuamua is also scheduled to get a visit from a probe. Project Lyra was announced for February 2028. For four years, the probe would have to fly acceleration maneuvers at Earth, Venus, and Jupiter to reach Oumuamua between 2050 and 2054. Another variant involves steering a probe into a gravitational well near the Sun, and the extreme acceleration would be enough to reach Oumuamua even sooner. But this variant would bring the research unit very close to the Sun, requiring special protection. Finally, the last option envisions a risky acceleration maneuver at Jupiter. Or, the scientists simply wait until another object like Oumuamua appears and then send a probe. But when will that be? And what if Oumuamua was unique? Until we have facts, scientists will continue to argue about what Oumuamua really was. Studies have produced different variants. A hydrogen iceberg, a nitrogen iceberg, an extraterrestrial solar sail, fragments of a planet destroyed by a huge impact, and so on. All these explanations have one thing in common. They are extraordinary. But do they bring us closer to the truth? Computers calculated that theoretically, seven objects like Oumuamua travel through our solar system per year. Only, we don't usually see them. In this case, Oumuamua would not be so rare and unique. It's just the first time we've noticed this structure. However, Avi Loeb warns not to take Oumuamua lightly and not to leave everything to computer statistics. If the object was an extraterrestrial probe, 
it may have been a unique visitor, and scientists can wait a long time for something similar to fly by again. It would be much easier to observe visitors like Oumuamua with telescopes, but Oumuamua showed how futile this endeavor can be. Dozens of telescopes tracked the strange visitor and all came to different conclusions about its size, shape, and color. It almost seemed as if the object eluded accurate observation. And this circumstance led Avi Loeb to think of some sort of cloaking device. But who would send a probe from a distant star system to us? Oumuamua must have been traveling for several hundred thousand years. It could be that the object strayed into our solar system by chance. According to some experts, a circumstance speaks against this assumption. Oumuamua was too fast and too purposeful. The whole flight behavior of the thing from another world resembled more a remote-controlled object, which knew exactly where it wanted to go. Just before the sun, Oumuamua flew a loop that did not correspond to any known gravitational line or trajectory. Since this mysterious traveler is apparently capable of changing course in strange ways, we can't be 100% sure where it came from either. The angle of the flyby past Earth could initially be traced back to the constellation Lyra, but that was before Oumuamua impressively demonstrated that it was not bound to any fixed orbit. The strange flight behavior led some researchers to believe that Oumuamua may be following an orbit that is part of a previously unknown structure. Thus, it could be that an interstellar comet orbit exists that we simply don't know about yet. As we mentioned at the beginning, computers calculated four quintillion possibilities and structures. And which one is true? Only future observations will show. Become a subscriber today to never miss another incredible video.